Hey, thanks for taking the time to check out another video with us. Um, we're going to check out the Bandit Ad Ski Trail in uh, northeastern Minnesota. This is the one that's been on our list um, since last year. Uh, it's like number one. We've been wanting to do this, and it certainly didn't disappoint. We've been looking forward to it all winter. Um, so where we are, far northeast Minnesota, um, you'll see right here Grand Marais, Minnesota. Um, and we're in the Superior National Forest in the Boundary Water Canoe Area is where the Banadad Trail actually lies. Um, so as I zoom in here, as we're seeing, um, this is here again Grand Marais. Well, this is the Gunflint Trail right here. The trail, the, the road itself, I should say, is actually about a, a 50-mile tarred road. Um, there's a number of resorts down here. It's, it's a pretty cool um, drive. We spent a considerable amount of time in the morning and evenings driving up and down this road because there it is really known for, for a moose hangout. There are, um, are just over 3,000 moose in Minnesota, and I'll bet you a large portion of those um, reside in this area because we saw moose sign everywhere. And you'll see that in the video as, as well. Um, the other thing to, to note, too, is that um, back in 1999, a giant windstorm came through this area, and I actually remember that um, it, was, it affected quite a quite a few of us here um, and knocked down a, a large portion of trees in the Boundary Waters area. We all knew it was eventually going to light up, and it did. Um, it was started um, by a campfire um, back in 2007, and it torched about 70 um, 75,000 acres. Uh, so where the Banadad Ski Trail lies is actually just outside of that. So so in this area here is is where that that fire took place. Um, the Banadad Ski Trail starts right about here on the edge of Loon Lake and then goes in and loops around into the Boundary Waters. Um, so to look at an, a closer zoomed in map here. So here's the ski trail map itself. And on the right, you'll see here two Grand Marais, 28 miles. So Grand Marais is going to be here on the right. Again, here's the Gun Flint Trail um, to the dead end here on the left. And then in blue is the actual ski trail itself. It's about 19 miles from start to finish. Um, you can start on either end, the west end or uh, the east end. We started on the west end here, and we went in about an hour, turned around, um, and came back um, through this video. Definitely not enough time. We would love to have done the entire thing, um, but weather kind of um, stopped that. We actually had to cut our trip short um, because of a, an ice and, and uh, rain slash snowstorm coming in. Um, so yeah, check out the video, see what you think. All right, let's finally go. Go ahead. Try not to get too sweated up. Take it nice and easy. Pretty narrow. Ooh. My pole went through and it went down about three feet. Ah. He wouldn't want to get off the trail, put it that way. <laughs> Something laid down there. That's what that is. Something's laid down there too. Something bedded there. What is this hair? Is this, what kind of fur is this? What kind of fur is this? Look at, is that Sasquatch? <laughs> Let me back up. It kind of, I don't know. All right, well, maybe somebody on YouTube will know what it is. I don't know what it is for sure. That's what I say, sand squanch. There's a moose track. Nope. You should take your glove off and feel that. I mean, it's like, it's like fluff. <coughs> I don't know. What is that? What kind of fur is that? Well, hang on now. <sighs> no pokes or sleds. Oh, for I suppose if you're pulling a sled to camp, keep going. No pulks.
We're not gonna wanna turn around in an hour. It's really pretty. So it looked like online that there was a group of about 20 people that maintain this every year. They come in the fall with chainsaws and you know, come through and cut out all the dead stuff and get it ready. I suppose it's a lot of work to maintain 20 miles of trail. Whoa, look at those big rubs. Look at those moose rubs on your left. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Yeah, they're both moose rubs. Let me take my skis off so we can get the height in there too, you know? Cool. Yeah, they're both gigantic. It's really cool. Let me put this just so I can get it in perspective here. Wow, oh, two moose rubs. Yeah, they're awesome. It's either a moose or one giant white tail. I'm going for moose, but I'd love to see a giant white tail like that. Could be. <laughs> that's that's worth the trip right there. <laughs> Well, we still got three more days. What if the other trails are even better? <laughs> but we're in the Boundary Waters. How can it be better? everywhere. So if you are planning on skiing the Banadad Trail, uh, make sure and stop in Grand Marais, fill up on gas, get what you need. It's a pretty long drive. Um, like I say, it's, geez, I know 30 miles in, 30 miles back. Uh, really no gas stations, no nothing. So um, if you need it, bring it with you. Um, also check out a video on the top right here. I'll put a link. Um, there is a video of us taking a hike to the higher glyphs over by Ely, which isn't really too far from here. Um, so it's a nice walk, um, quick walk. See some uh, Native American hieroglyphs. Check it out. Um, also keep in mind the uh, actual Ojibwa word for the Banadad is lost. So keep in mind you are in the middle of nowhere. So take any safety precautions needed. Mm -hmm.